Good morning from Mexico. You know, I'm here in a small town called Tepiapulco. It is in the state of Hidalgo. People always go to Mexico for beach vacation, uh, Cancun, Acapulco, Puerto Vallarta, uh, all those beautiful places that Mexico has. Mexico also have another thing that's called colonial part, which is uh, lots of history in there, deep history from the Spaniard colonialism. Now those places are preserved. Many places in here that a lot of people doesn't know, like went to Arco yesterday. And as you see, the Ark is, nobody knows. It's only local people go there. There's not a big tourist area, but this is one of the longest Ark in Mexico. If you want to know Mexico, colonial city, you know, like Guadalajara in Jalisco, Puebla, uh, Zacatecas, San Miguel de Allende, uh, Leon Guanajuato, you know, all those places has so many history that unbelievable. I have been so many colonial part of Mexico. Today I'm going to take you guys a place called Tula de Allende. It is not so far from here. It's about an hour and 15 minutes probably. Let's go. Here in Mexico, Tula, first entrance of the Tula, you're going to see lots of cactus, lots of species of cactus, a different, different kind. Uh, from start from Nopales, Naga, all kind of maguey. This is the place that if you want to see some cactus, you come to Tula and you see lots of cactus in here, all kind of species. Now, however, this is not really Tula for cactus. They just put it in here to represent, but the Tula is originally, it's a ruin, which is we are going about probably, this is one kilometer or something, you need to walk from the front where we park our car. And you see my back, I'm walking through all cactus. It's a beautiful cactus here, you know? It's fantastic. Uh, probably here also desert climate but more rain falls here than some other desert like in California Nevada or Arizona here is more rainfall so that's why more cactus and more grow faster and more greener these trees are so beautiful every time I see it I feel like a wow these trees are known as uh, yucca tree or Joshua. 
It has been in North America since 2.6 million years ago. Who knows, maybe this yucca tree from the time of dinosaurs. Even dinosaurs were 65 million years ago, but you never know. I took this Joshua tree shot in the Mojave Desert, California, on the way going to Las Vegas. Joshua tree is mostly found in the Mojave Desert in California. As you see, Mojave Desert, Joshua trees are not that tall and the trunks are slim, which means slow growth. This all happened because extreme hot and less rainfall. There is a no tree can survive without water, right? These trees are desert tolerant, survive with a few rainfalls in a year. But look, here in Tula, Mexico, same tree, it is much taller, much greener, and the trunk is more wider, and it has fruits. Because here has much rainfall, also, it could be an older tree which I'm looking at. I came to know that uh, due to the climate change, yucca trees could be extinct soon. Tula Pyramid is a platform pyramid. It is located in the state of Hidalgo and 45 minutes from Mexico City. Tula was the capital of the Toltecs. Tula was a city uh, during 900th century, I guess, as a calendar count. 980, it was built. It was a metropolitan city. Thousands of people used to be habitant here. It had a plaza political center, shops, anything they need for the city. And city used to be uh, visible from all the way those cities. These pillars or the columns believed to be the support of wooden roof, which may be destroyed by a huge fire. And that is why this place called the Burned Palace. Pre-Hispanic invasion, it was a region of culture, history, known as a Mesoamerica, based known as a Mexica. Present days we call Mexico. Mesoamerica, which stretched between Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Costa Rica and Honduras. Mesoamerica civilization could be started 6,000 years BCE.
as you see on my behind. So right there. We're gonna go up there right now. Let's go. Check it out what they have. This is a statue known as a Chakmols. They also have in a Chichen Itza in many places. Most uh, Mesoamerica, they have this kind of a statue. Here in Tula, there was a seven of them, but now they have only one. It's a priest who is holding an offering bowl for gods. Going up is really stiff. And uh, I have a fear of gravity. This pyramid is not as tall as Teotihuacan pyramid. Which, so who came first? It seems the Toltecs came first during 950 centuries to 1150. And Aztec came 1300 between 1521. Which means a Spaniard invaded Mexico during 1519. And August 13, 1521, Aztec Empire was forced and killed by a Spanish conquistador, Hernan Cortes. So now you know who killed the Aztecs. By the way, a Spaniard not only killed and forced Aztec, they also decimated the Mayan Empire. These four statues are stone carved, known as Atlantean statues, or locally called Telamon. These four statues representing the Toltec warriors. Disc on the back, shape of sun, and at the front, shape of butterfly, uh, which is represent and understood that these are a soldier, warrior. It is about 17 foot tall, uh, more or less 4.6 meters there is no any kind of evidence or information how this heavy statues brought up here During the Spaniard time, they didn't let people to come here. Only high official and the ruler can come. And now it is open for public. This is a beautiful place. All right, I'm gonna go down now. I'm uh, scared of height. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now here's another pyramid, a small pyramid. We're gonna go up there too. Let's go and see what they have. Most of the pyramids here are kind of not the original shape. It has been destroyed. Trees was grows in every place. They had to clean it up. Even in Machu Picchu, you go in Peru. It's about the same like this. Now, little different because whatever left over from the climate, the rain, the forest was took over. And behind that you're looking at the big one. That one preserved pretty well. It's an hour away from Mexico City. If you ever come in Mexico, Mexico City I mean, you must visit Tula. Tula is a beautiful place. It's not so much tourists right now here because you know, it's right after pandemic. Mexico never closed down their border during the pandemic. They was always open and they do not require any vaccine or any PCR test. This is the only country during the COVID-19 was open for every tourist. This is great though, I like it because I'm in the tourist industry. So I like that uh, choice that government made from Mexico. Anyway, so Mexico is not all about Puerto Vallarta, Cancun, Acapulco, or Cabo San Lucas. Mexico has a lot of things like this. I'm here in the city of Tula. It's a bigger city than the Piapulco that I came from. I'm gonna go to the local church here. I saw it, it looked nice. This Tula city is pretty busy, a lot of traffic here. The church is closed, it's locked. I don't know, maybe it's not the time for prayer. See that? It's locked. All right, so uh, we're gonna go to the kiosk, which is the center of the city. Remember, in Mexico, every city, they have a kiosk and there's a little park there where you can sit down uh, you know talking to a friends family every city has that kiosk unbelievable
we are buying some pastry. Okay, I hope you like my video. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe. There is a bell icon down there. If you click that, when my next video comes, you would be the first notified. Adios.